Israel's economy is suffering from its nearly 11-month-long war with Hamas, as its leaders grind ahead with its offensive in Gaza that shows no signs of ending and threatens to escalate into a wider conflict. The country's deficit is up, credit ratings are down, tourism industry and state expenditures are mired in controversy. We did consider at one point closing for a few months. Um, because that might have been, from a purely economic way, uh, a, a method of stemming some of the losses. But of course that would mean sacking all the staff. It would have meant letting the gardens, which we've uh, developed over 120 years, go fallow. It would have meant a loss of reputation. The cost of rebuilding areas in the south and north of the country, compensating families of victims and strengthening Israel's defense systems has placed a massive strain on the economy. In a regular year, we are growing at a rate of 3.7%, which means that if you want it in dollar terms, we are going to lose this year in GDP, $14 billion. But it's only in GDP, we are losing much more. But if we be stubborn and continue the war, until I don't know what, then I, I think we will not recover. Leading economists say a ceasefire is the only way to stop the damage. The US, Qatar and Egypt are straining to seal a deal that would bring an end to the war and exchange scores of Israeli hostages for Palestinian prisoners. But success has proved so far elusive.